Welcome back, everybody. So here we're going to find equation of a plane passing through this point and containing this line. So here's the situation that we have. We have a point, which is 1, 6, negative 4, and we have a line. This is our line. This hypothetical situation. So this is my line, am I right, passing through the plane. It has a direction vector. Direction vector of the line V is equal to 2, negative 3, and negative 1, the coefficients of T. If I can find another vector connecting these two together and call it U, then I can find the cross product between U and V and find a normal vector for this plane. Let me make a different color. This guy is the normal vector of the plane u cross v. This is what I'm going to do. So to write the equation of the plane, we need to find the normal vector. Remember that if you have normal vector n, a, b, c, and one point on this plane, then you have a times x minus x sub zero plus b times y minus zero plus c times z minus z sub zero equal to zero. And after simplification, we have the equation of this plane. But we have one vector, vector v. We need to find the second vector to form n or to calculate n. We need to find the second vector u. It's not that difficult. U starts at the initial point on the line. So what is the initial point on the line? This is this point that I'm talking about, initial point. Let's t be equal to 0, x becomes 1, y becomes 2, and z becomes 3. So this is the initial point, 1, 2, 3 on the line. Now connect 1, 2, 3 to 1, 6, negative 4 to form u. So my u is equal to, here you have 1, minus 1, 6, minus 2, and negative 4, minus 3. My u is 0 or negative 7. This is my u. I have v, I have u. Now I can easily find the normal vector. 0, 4, negative 7. Why is that? The normal vector is the cross product between u and v. Now, or the normal vector itself. Normal vector of the plane. Just find u cross v or v cross u. This guy is equal to i, j, and k. u is 0, 4, negative 7, and v is 2, negative 3, negative 1. i is multiplied by negative 4 minus 21 minus j times 0 plus 14 plus k times 0 minus 8. So the normal vector can be written as negative 25 and negative 14 and negative 8. It might be in the same or opposite direction. It doesn't matter. Eventually, we simplify this. Now follow the formula. You have a, which is negative 25, times x minus x sub 0. You can use this point, or you can use this point. It doesn't matter which one you're using, which one is easier to work with. It doesn't matter. x minus 1, and here you have negative 14, y minus 6, and minus 8, z plus 4 equal to 0. And now you need to simplify. So negative 25, you can multiply everything by negative sign and write it as 
positive 25, positive 40, positive 8. This guy becomes 25x minus 25 plus 14y minus 84 plus 8z plus 32 equal to 0. So here you have 25x plus 14y plus 8z and combine these together. But if you do this, you get negative 52. And here you have combining these two, negative 77 equal to 0. Or basically, the equation of this plane can be written as 25x plus 14y plus 8z equals to 77. This is what we are looking for. And since they don't have any common factor, leave it as it is.